Atlanta and Company and Gwinnett Medical Center are teaming up to help get you heart healthy. In the last few weeks, we've given you tips to help fight heart disease, as well as delicious mm. recipes to aid in that. It's all part of the comprehensive series called Take the Pledge for a Healthier Heart. This morning, we're going to look at good and bad cholesterol. And here to explain it is interventional cardiologist, Dr. Sean Delaney. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Christine. It's great to have you here, and thank you so much for teaming up with us to help get our Atlanta residents heart healthy. It's so important, right? Thank you, yes. Well, let's first talk about what is an interventional cardiologist. What do you do? So an interventional cardiologist, like other cardiologists, diagnose heart and vascular disease using a variety of tests, such as ultrasound scans of the heart, nuclear stress tests. But what distinguishes us from other cardiologists is that we are also able to perform interventional procedures, invasive procedures called angiograms. Right. This is where we enter an artery, usually in the leg with a small tube that's called a catheter, and we can place that catheter anywhere in the body, whether it be the heart, whether it be the brain, the legs, the arms, uh, to find a blockage. Once we've found a blockage, we can then offer the patient treatment by opening the blockage using balloons and stents or other devices. So we may be called upon in an emergency when a patient is having a heart attack to abort that heart attack right. and hopefully spare the patient's life. That's incredible, and I know today we're talking about something that can affect our heart um, in a negative way, and that is, of course, cholesterol, good and bad. And for anybody out there that's not even sure about how cholesterol does play an important part in our heart health, explain that, break it down for us in layman's terms. So cholesterol, even though it's sometimes considered to be a bad thing, is actually uh, not bad. It's an essential part of our body. We make some cholesterol in our liver, and the rest of the cholesterol is uh, taken in through our diets. Uh, the problem with cholesterol arises when the levels of cholesterol in the bloodstream is too high. Under that circumstance, then the excess cholesterol can be deposited in the walls of arteries, mm. causing obstructions. If you take a, a look at the model that I brought here, yeah. you'll see on this end, this represents a normal artery showing nice thin walls and uh, a nice large opening for mm -hmm. the blood to flow through. As we follow along here, we see these yellow deposits. This represents Ooh. cholesterol plaque buildup and as the plaque builds up, we see that the opening of the artery is progressively getting smaller. Right, harder for the blood to get through. Exactly. Also, if you look very closely in this area, you'll see that the lining of the uh, blood vessel is very thin here. That is a vulnerable plaque and at risk of rupture. If rupture occurs, then the blood in the artery can be exposed to the cholesterol plaque. Mm -hmm. That triggers clotting of the blood and the artery can completely close off. Oh my gosh. This person would be having a heart attack and uh, would require an interventional procedure. Wow, so how can we even tell the difference between good and bad cholesterol and how can we tell how much of each we have or are getting? Right, so uh, we can consider cholesterol to be several subtypes. The bad cholesterol is the cholesterol that we just spoke about that gets deposited in the walls of arteries. Uh, the other type of cholesterol is uh, fortunately good cholesterol or HDL. Mm -hmm. This type of cholesterol circulates in the bloodstream and in a simplified explanation is uh, seeking to remove the bad cholesterol from the bloodstream and return it to the liver. A healthy level of, cholesterol, of good cholesterol would be around 40 milligrams per deciliter for a uh, woman and 45 or greater for a man, um, you can raise your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol by exercising, by losing weight if mm -hmm. you're overweight, and in some circumstances you may require medicines. Okay, now we talk about being able to t get our levels tested by a simple screening. Uh, how do we know when it's time to get tested? I'm 42, seem relatively healthy, but should I, is that something that would happen at my well visit once a year? So most adults should have a cholesterol screening profile at least once per year. Okay. Uh, the problems with cholesterol is so prevalent in our society and heart and vascular disease are so prevalent that in fact most teenagers should also probably have a screening really? blood test. Really? 
Correct. Right. Is that mainly because we are, we are not taking care of ourselves, meaning there's a rise in childhood obesity, which exactly. we have to keep in check? And exactly. It's unbelievable that we've gotten to that point. But thank goodness we can have the screenings and we can hopefully avert a problem. And I know that there's going, uh, a health fair going on later this month. So tell us all about that. And more importantly, tell us how we can all get involved. Absolutely. On August 19th, Friday, August 19th, Gwinnett Medical Center will be hosting a health fair at Gwinnett Tech from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Uh, it is called the Healthier You. Uh, there will be, it's free for people to attend, although Gwinnett Medical Center asks that everyone um, register by going to gmc-rsvp.org. There will be free uh, health seminars on health and fitness. There will also be free screenings. Um, and I'm also told that there will be fabulous door prizes for Good. attendees. Excellent. So just register right there and mark your calendars. And it is so important because heart disease, what is it in terms of the killers for men and women? How does it rank? So heart disease is the number one killer for both men and women. It's incredible. So we have to do this. We have to take a pledge to get our heart, healthy, heart healthier. Thank you so much, doctor, for being Thank here. You. We appreciate it. Thanks for breaking it down for us. And again, we want to encourage you to take that pledge. Visit 11alive.com slash take the pledge. Not only will you be able to find out great information about getting active, eating smart, reducing stress, and more, but you can sign up to take that pledge. When you sign up, you'll receive a, a free pedometer and be entered into a monthly drawing to win an iPod Nano. And this segment was paid for by Gwinnett Medical Center. Important information for all of us.